Once a Canadian customs post on the White Pass and Yukon route, the town of Carcross has been without rail service for over a decade. Now, 15 years later, the welcome sound of the train is back. But this is not just any train. This is the gold train, a commemorative special to celebrate the first shipment out of the Klondike. It was in 1898 that the Stampede put Alaska on the map and the White Pass in business. When the railway closed in 1982, it operated a full 110 miles from tidewater to the interior. Then in 1988, the first 20 miles from Skagway to the summit were reopened. Later service to Lake Bennett put 40 miles of track in service and now another 27 miles are receiving attention. The work train moves countless carloads of ballast, delivering it along a route that features some of the most picturesque scenery in the southern lakes. Here, a track crew use automated equipment to replace thousands of ties, progressively leveling and tamping their way north. In Carcross, the last hurdle, the repair of the 150-foot wooden swing bridge. Weathered timbers are reinforced or replaced with steel beams and pilings. On July the 9th, the bridge is ready for the first test load. For younger residents, this was the first time they had seen a train. And for others, it was a moment to savor. The restoration, rebuilding of this historic equipment has always been a, a fascination of mine. The opportunity to actually see what it was all about, how it worked, I think is an important part of explaining our history. With the bullion safely aboard, the next stop is Bennett City.